A fake image briefly went viral today, appearing to show an explosion right near the Pentagon. Our own Ben Collins reports the fake photo was shared by a variety of verified Twitter accounts. It was convincing enough to quickly spook the markets. One expert said the image showed signs of having been generated by artificial intelligence. It's the photo sweeping social media that's fooling everyone. Pope Francis wearing a stylish white puffer jacket. Many are only learning now that it's a fake. I received a call on from Capitol Hill, Hill. Jennifer DeStefano from Arizona telling lawmakers of a harrowing story. And she got a mysterious phone call in April. It was Brianna sobbing and crying, saying, Mom. DeStefano says someone on the line demanded $1 million for the safe return of her 15 year old daughter, Brianna. Her voice had been manipulated by AI, DeStefano says, using a handful of online interviews Brianna had done. He, he actually made a TikTok account called Deep Tom Cruise, and he sent me a screenshot of the channel, and we had like 45,000 followers and two and a half million views. I'm going to show you some magic. It's the real thing. <laughs> I mean, uh... It's all the real thing. <laughs> There's a return of inflation. James Manyika asked uh, Bard about inflation. It wrote an instant essay in economics and recommended five books. But days later, we checked. None of the books is real. Bard fabricated the titles. This very human trait, error with confidence, is called in the industry hallucination. Are you getting a lot of hallucinations? Uh, yes, uh, you know, which is expected. No one in the, uh, in the field has yet solved the hallucination problems. All models uh, do have uh, this as an issue. Is it a solvable problem? It's a matter of intense debate. I think we'll make progress. Of the AI issues we talked about, the most mysterious is called emergent properties. Some AI systems are teaching themselves skills that they weren't expected to have. How this happens is not well understood. For example, one Google AI program adapted on its own after it was prompted in the language of Bangladesh, which it was not trained to know. We discovered that with very few amounts of prompting in Bengali, it can now translate all of Bengali. So now all of a sudden, we now have a research effort where we're now trying to get to a thousand languages. There is an aspect of this which we call, uh, all of us in the field, call it as a black box. You know, you don't fully understand. And you can't quite tell why it said this or why it got wrong. We have some ideas and our ability to understand this gets better over time, but that's where the state of the art is. You don't fully understand how it works, and yet you've turned it loose on society? Yeah, let me put it this way. I don't think we fully understand how a human mind works either. 